Yeah, so I will uh, not take much time. Briefly, I would um, like to more share my experiences, and maybe I would like to this, uh, make the session more interactive. Uh, right, uh, the students. Um, I was also a student almost now, ten years. Time flies very fast. In two thousand eleven, I got graduation. Right, so before starting the story, I briefly tell about what we do. So the firm name is Atom Bug Technology. Uh, post my graduation in two thousand eleven from IIT B. So I did my B Tech and M Tech integrated program uh, from electrical engineering from IIT B. And I was very much keen in uh, starting entrepreneurship. And during college days also, I used to participate a lot in tech fest, technical activities, not only in IIT but also other colleges. So that was a passion which was driving me toward entrepreneurship. And uh, and and there were certain companies also which were part of Sign, and Idea Forge is one of them. So I was, uh, and those guys were senior. So I was also fascinated to understand how to start company. But the ecosystem was there, direction was there, guidance was there. With that, we were able to um, got it registered in Sign within a year in 2012. But during that time, uh, frankly, tell you, I had no idea in what area I need to start my company. Yeah, we uh, as a part of uh, passion, we got into uh, making various uh, projects for IITs, BRC, DRDO, ISRO. Those were technology projects, and we were kind of assisting research laboratories mainly. And these were scientific projects because uh, uh, because the kind of interest we had was totally into electronics, robotics, programming, and uh, and and we started you know uh, that journey. Thought that. Within a year, things will change. We would be able to make a good business model. So we had not started anything with business model. We learned it late. Uh, it was a hard learning for us. So it is the right time for you to understand the basics of uh, uh, making a good lean business model, identifying right uh, problem statement, identifying in the right solution to to that. Do a proper assessment. If you want to fail, then fail fast. So failing fast is also important within my journey. I would say. i would have uh, uh, experimented almost four to five ideas before getting into what we are doing today so those were four five failures but every failure taught something interesting uh, which was very much important to you know proceed for the next failure so failing is, is not bad but but thing is you need to understand uh, if you are stuck with some idea you need to understand what time you should put a full stop right you need to understand if it is not working out there is no harm in pivoting the idea So Shibam is the co-founder. He was again IIT Bombay. He uh, was my junior during college days, and he joined him in 2015 when we finally started into uh, got into home appliances. Yes. So today, what we do is uh, we make energy efficient and smart home appliances, and we started our journey in home appliances with ceiling fan. today on our portfolio we have exhaust fan uh, wall mounts pedestal we are also launching uh, mixers and grinders this november like we are preparing for the launch by the way and uh, and an air cooler and hair dryer are the two new products which we are working on right now yeah so these are some of the snapshots snapshots from old story 2011 to 2015 where we experimented all these different ideas data acquisition was one of the product which we were selling to iit brc drdo etc we also uh, did a pilot for amul dairy mother dairy dominos so it was mainly for uh, cold chain monitoring of their reefer vents so that also we tried in 2012 and 13
and these were certain projects for uh, done for DRDOs and uh, BRC and certain laboratories also within IIT. So some of the lab snapshots are from IIT Bombay laboratories itself. So that time, um, you know, the passion was definitely um, uh, doing the technology stuff, solving problem. But somehow we were deep inside, not very much satisfied uh, because uh, see, technology learning is one thing, but we, uh, I personally believe that if uh, a larger problem is not solved, right, then the technology is of no use. So whatever I have learned, whatever I have uh, exper uh, experimented during that time, it should be uh, reached out to mass market. And consumers was something very much uh, I was fascinated about, but I had no clue how to get into that. And home automation, a lot of things people were talking about. Uh, so there we uh, we identified that you know the appliances when we studied from the competition, be it your uh, ceiling fan. So we have not seen any innovation right for last many decades. Uh, for last 30, 40 years, uh, ceiling fans are dull, uh, running on old technologies, energy inefficient, not looking cool, and all other appliances like your uh, uh, washing machines, refrigerators. They have evolved a lot, so there was a big, uh, big gap uh, between the evolution of certain categories like, uh, like ceiling fan, mixture grinders, and other kitchen home appliances. So that was a wonderful opportunity. We thought, why may, why not make appliances smart? So the idea clicked, and and since we had a lot of expertise by then, uh, in, by 2015, into motors and control systems. So we thought it would be a wonderful opportunity to apply that expertise of motors and control systems into that because most of your appliances are actually running on some kind of motor. And, and that was the opportunity. We, we made a, a small prototype, tested it. The results were amazing. Like it was consuming only one third electricity, right? So you could run three atom box fans uh, within the same power which your traditional fan takes. So that was a big breakthrough for us and, and, and a big realization about the opportunity. So the so thing is, uh, you know, it took me almost uh, four to five years to identify the right opportunity for us. Yeah, so now what we are doing is we are we are um, focusing a consumer uh, uh, appliance category. Uh, it's a big market, uh, to overall market size. Uh, so we made a right business model, by the way, finally, uh, right, in 2015, after having all these failures. So making a right business model helps because that that actually gives you a lot of insights, which you are not able to see from your making a PPT to, uh, to make, uh, to impress investors. Uh, getting some detailed understanding of the matrices for profitability PNL is really important to understand you that what kind of funding requirement will be there. Uh, so finance is something uh, we should not take lightly, right? Uh, without right finance, right finance model, things will not fall in place. You might end up into a, a, a financial crunch. You might uh, end up making a, a wrong product, maybe which uh, which is not getting a right value from the consumer. So getting a right business model done is really important at right, right um, at the very beginning of the of the idea. Electricity bills are increasing year on year. Is there anything we can do to optimize our electricity use? India is one of the largest market of ceiling fans, and with ever growing population, the market is expanding. Every year, a lot of electricity that we produce is actually consumed in running ceiling fans. A conventional ceiling fan consumes 75 to 80 watts of power and 50 to 55 watts in case of 5-star B-labeled fans, offering same air delivery. Heavy energy losses lead to high electricity bills due to friction between moving parts inside the motor of a conventional fan. Atomberg Technologies has developed an innovative solution, the Gorilla Fans. The Gorilla fans minimize the losses caused by AC induction motor-based fans through the use of brushless direct current technology which consumes significantly low power and generates less heat. Gorilla fan consumes only 28 watt power. Less power consumption and great experience, both at the same time. Also, it comes with a remote and is noiseless. Atomberg has developed a smart motor tuning algorithm called AtomSense. This along with optimized design of motor for reduced vibration leads to a longer lifespan of the fan. Besides, optimized aerodynamic design further leads to enhanced air delivery. In fact, people if they use, start using this new technology which is 65% efficient, 
they can start saving about 1000 to 1500 rupees per fan every year on their electricity bill if a commercial place like a railway station has 300 fans replaced with gorilla fans it can save around 70000 units of electricity in a year under demand side management we motivate consumers to exchange their inefficient appliances with highly efficient appliances and ceiling fan is which is widely used and continue to consume energy throughout the day and night so we concentrated on ceiling fans and uh, we rolled out a very innovative program of brushless dc ceiling fan technology i have been using this bldc high tech gorilla brand fan since last over 6 months period and we have been living and realizing the fabulous results in terms of economy the electricity bills are highly cut off given the climate change challenges such innovations as gorilla fan are the need of the hour every bit of energy we save will contribute to a better planet if this system is implemented globally it can mitigate 4 million tons of greenhouse gas emissions by 2026 so now why we are winning uh, in this particular category which is your smart and efficient home appliances the one thing is all of our product are uh, very differentiated and the high differentiation coming from the core technology one is your motor electronic technology which is making the product super efficient at the same point in time we are able to make product smart uh, so efficiency and smartness goes very well hand to hand together to make a complete product at uh, look attractive uh, then making product beautiful is also important uh, aesthetic point of view and our technology has enabled us to make the product more beautiful i will briefly cover that part because it is really important to you to understand that see starting something is is important uh, a good beginning is important but at the same point of time you need to understand what are your competitive advantages going to be in future how you are going to dis uh, how you are going to ensure that your product is differentiated one year down the line two year down the line you need this window of opportunity very well defined when you are able to differentiate your value proposition into the market right this is important it should not happen that you launch the product and uh, it is very vulnerable people are copying it and then then you are nowhere when you are down the line so we have ensured that uh, evolution on the product was done and uh, today also we are evolving our products final thing which is very much helpful to for most of the new generation startup is that digital strategy so today most of our uh, sale happens 50% of our sale happens through ecom and uh, i would like to share you that almost 15% market share is owned by atomberg across ceiling fan category hevels orient if you check their uh, market share will come after that so it is a big validation uh, from the market that your product is accepted you are able to uh, understand uh, consumer feedback and read your consumer from your reviews how they are liking the product and those things are really important see whatever we do today we ensure that we know our consumer best we will never go to consumer door and we will say that you will look for uh, blue color white color this kind of blade design this kind of motor design we will try to understand what their aspirations are uh, what is their per perception of smartness what is their perception of efficiency right and then we will fuse our engineering learnings to ensure that that aspiration is met and we will try to surprise them from uh, with the product so we we won't follow because see, you all you can do is you need to meet your consumer you need to read your consumer from reviews from meeting uh, online from collecting data from retail counters distributors but you need to really understand who your consumer are what their aspirations are they would say that make a fan led a lot of led you add add leds on the blade they will add a speaker integrated speaker within the fan they will say a number of things which might not be feasible one consumer might like other might not like you need to only understand what they are trying to say what is their understanding of smartness what is their aspiration and then it is your job as an engineer to solve that so today we have a very strong team of 80 uh, member which are working on pure technology overall team size at atomberg today is uh, around 550 and we do everything like starting from product conceptualization prototyping validation we follow a proper seven stage program to deliver any product 
and we are also running our own manufacturing line sales activities marketing activities everything we are owning and that has given us a wonderful strength basically when we are owning all the things we are able to experiment we do a lot of experiment on digital and marketing communication as well which was not possible if we were outsourcing these things so many times whatever uh, uh, is required for you to ensure that competitive advantage can be met you should own that if something is available outside some service is available outside which is a commodity you can definitely partner with right agency and and get things fast because speed is important but things which are niche where you can dis- differentiate it could it may not be only product it could be your logistic strategy it could be your digital strategy sales marketing strategy anything wherever you find because you need to have more competitive advantages and you need to explore more areas not only the product technology capabilities this is our portfolio today uh, as i said uh, you know the fan we have tried to redefine the fan uh, the way they are manufactured in iit uh, the product is 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 very similar to the traditional fan which was our initial model but soon in 2018 and 19 we rolled out very compact motor fan the second product is called renesa this is world's most compact uh, ceiling fan motor and here you will see the diameter of the motor is just half of your traditional motors the form factor is super compact and nowadays people are looking for minimalistic designs they are appreciating more minimalistic design and people are moving toward uh, you know uh, the perception is very different like just to give you an example how we understood you know how we got design direction so we have by the way very strong team one of the guy uh, utkarsh is uh, professor chakravarti is a student he is doing wonderful job so id is really important industrial design is really important we uh, we do a lot of detailing, detailing and it is a fusion of you know uh, id thoughts and the engineering thoughts to bring this product so we studied your ovens microwave ovens which are new your modular kitchen which are coming up your refrigerator so everything is getting into acrylic electronic minimum minimal led element will be integrated within that so that it should look modern it should look new new edge new age right so this is what we try try to do in renesa series it is the most loved series into the uh, in in this home appliance category ceiling fan especially when we launched this in 2019 lot of negative sentiments also came from the market that the motor is small uh, people might not like it it was coming from retailers and distributors but we were sure because we knew our consumer more than any retailer or any distributor so we took this challenge they they told us that fan should look big if motor is big it means it is a more bulky or or it is more, more uh, powerful yeah, yeah so that was just uh, you know many times you will get wrong wrong feedback wrong reviews so you have to double ensure that do you really know your consumer well right so we rolled this thing out and it is a hero model uh, more than 50% market share is coming from renesa today and that has uh, given us direction and if you see all competition is now trying to follow the same design language which atom bagar has said we are very well respected across the whole industry and uh, and this is what we we really want wanted yeah and we want ceiling fan uh, exhaust fan is there on the market wall pedestal now this slide is really important this is showing that how we evolved from generation 2 generation 3 something where renesa is based out half the motor one third the volume one third the weight yeah and we also try to use the different grades of material the whole industry in ceiling fan never evolved themselves to use alum, uh, use any plastic or abs or pp grade material right uh, because uh, the heating in the traditional motor is huge right they are consuming three times more power than atomberg fan it means the power is actually going into heat and you can't touch the traditional fan with your bare hands after few minutes of operation so the whole industry was restricted to use a certain material like aluminum casted and uh, sheet metal so the new technology energy efficient technology uh, disabled all those barriers to us and and we explored different materials so you also need to understand the bldc motors are definitely efficient energy efficiency is only one part of the value not all consumers are fascinated about the energy saving they also look for better finish uh, smartness so we exploited the bldc technology since heating is not there so we can make the motor super compact we can use different grades of material which will give more flexibility to our design team uh, to to meet the consumer aspiration to make it more 
new generation and new age and we have been continuously evolving and this evolution is really important so we are not worried about what competition is doing so many time we also get dragged what competition is doing so this is also we don't do we we know that well, who our consumer are and how we have to evolve, uh, evolve the technology we have to keep investing on the r and d we need to keep you know uh, do better innovation uh, on the product year on year so this is keeping us ahead we have uh, so fourth generation is something we launched in 2020 and uh, and there are certain new uh, exciting things uh, we are working on we are also working on fiber blades you would have seen all the fans which are your sheet metal blade so that limits you to again uh, do more uh, yeah so here uh, the the new designs by the way there is a prototype you can see the actual image it is five blade fan under light leds abs it is just a prototype 3d printed prototype within our factory uh, the actual product might look much better yeah uh, which is on the right side so idea was to make quietest fan possible so making a low noise fan is also <coughs> a uh, opportunity for us and industry has not addressed it so from outside you will see that there are many comp- player lot of competition is there established brands are there but thing is are they really focusing to solve consumer problem so there are empty problem which are there which are not solved or addressed by the players so consumer centricity is really important if you want to become a good brand and this is what also we are ensuring from day one that we are there to solve problem that is our core thing yeah? and that drives all the innovation which i think the competition is not focusing maybe yeah you are also working on lot of iot uh, thermostat ac communication voice control features so one of the development we are doing is that uh, you don't need any remote by the way all of our fan are remote controlled fan and uh, some of them are alexa compatible iot enabled fans come up come along with app uh, but we are also making it uh, uh, a smarter in terms of voice uh, command uh, integration uh, so you don't need any alexa don't need any wifi router at your home it would be a stand alone voice recognizing module so one prototype has been done we are integrating all different accent different age groups kids old age recording their voices making a lookup table library so that our hit rate is better so all these things are going on so the whole idea is to make the users life better and we will not any any smart feature which is not adding value like see smartness people there is no limit but you have to ensure that whatever feature you are adding its consumer is going to use that that is really important so any fancy cheese uh, uh, is, is really bad to add in your product so this this uh, uh, sometimes uh, distract so we ensure that whatever we are going to integrate is uh, adding a utility that is really important that is also uh, uh, the motor you will see that the motor is integrated within the fan blade so the motor is super compact and uh, we are we have uh, in your traditional fans you will see that motor is on the back side so there is a back hump and uh, that again limits your design flexibility and there is a switchboard um, a big switchboard on the on the stand at the middle of a stand so you won't find any any big uh, uh, you know junction box or switchboard at the the design is uh, very sleek the downboard is very sleek and all the interface and the motor is integrated within the center part of the blade so again it is possible it was possible to us only because of the technology so technology was there bldc motor was there but a value to consumer was not only the energy efficiency it was exploiting the form factor of motor exploiting the different great different material which low heating motor can offer then it is also enabling us to integrate the interface within the motor so all these things have uh, played a significant role to pack the complete product mixer grinder is something which we have been working for last two years we are about to roll this out there are many interesting features and we are expecting that uh, this is going to disrupt more than ceiling fan by the way uh, one of the key feature here is that uh, it is a low noise a low uh, vibration product bldc motors are by default very low noise and very low vibration and it is it is india's first uh, inverter uh, or bldc based uh, mixer grinder uh, again we are launching the so mixer grinder also industry has not uh, tried to solve consumer problem is still running on uh, in uh, universal motors traditional universal motor for last 30 40 years 
So these are the gaps, right? From again, I'm emphasizing the fact that from outside you will find that opportunity is not there. But when you deep dive, do uh, you need to only understand is the user happy? Is anything new you can offer to user that will you know give you direction to any idea, be it your home appliance or any other. Yeah, these are the certain prototypes we do. All this electronic card, which is not, by the way, part of your traditional motors. All your BLDC motors require a, a intelligent motor drive, uh, which uh, is here in the in the image. There is a chopper jar. It is from one of the brand Enelsa. I have kept it only to show you that the chopper jar chopper is a separate product, and uh, with our BLDC motor, we are able to do a chopping feature within mixture grinder. So in mixture grinder, we are offering three jars: a regular jar, chutney jar, dry grinding jar, and a blending jar. Along with the chopper jar, see chopper requires a low RPM, so our motor can be operated at low RPM, and 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 can deliver high torque. So that is enabling chopping feature, and that is only provided like that is only available here with Atomberg Mixi. No other brand was able to do that. And idea is uh, idea was to make it multifunctional. Consumer has limited spaces in their kitchen, right? So they will never like to have a separate chopper jar, separate Mixi. Separate atta needing and separate juicer. So the idea is to make a multi-utility product, and with more compact form factor. By the way, this is a compact mixi, not having a larger footprint, doesn't require much space, and uh, consumer can definitely flaunt because it's a beautiful. It has LED inter in, uh, LED ring around it to indicate a lot of fault fault feature, and uh, the knob is not like traditional tick tick noise uh, noise making knobs. It is a smart knob, very similar to your oven or a washing machine. So all of these things uh, matters a lot to consumer when they are touching and feeling the product. So end-to-end -end consumer experience, starting from low noise, vibration, a smooth, a smooth operation of knob, better indication of LED, compactness, all these things, and then multifunctionality have uh, is differentiating the product very well in this space. Now this is not the end. Uh, we at Atomberg we always Uh, keep a vision of uh, two to three years, and uh, this is really important that you are always ready with the what is next. When we were uh, working on generation one in two thousand fifteen, we had no idea what we are going to do in generation three, and then we in two thousand eighteen we had no idea what we are going to do in generation four. So it is a it is exploration basically. You need to just keep your efforts in evolving the technology. Keep exploring what is next. This is really important. And on our roadmap, we have two more things on our roadmap. At this point in time, we are working on one is a single phase motor, which is much more superior version than generation four. We will roll that out in 2021. And this is uh, something very different. I think not only in appliance in general whole uh, in general. motors people have not done it right so this is generation 6 we call it atom axial motor it is our own uh, 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 name uh, which we will register definitely for this technology so here in traditional motors you use uh, your steel copper magnets and those uh, things to make a complete motor but here we are replacing all these things with a printed circuit board so on the right side this is nothing but a motor actually only few companies around the globe are working on it we have took this challenge to make this technology affordable in a product like ceiling fan yeah so this is a something which we are very much uh, sure and 2021 we will have the prototype ready few few are done 2022 we will roll this out so this will change the way uh, motors are manufactured and it will it is really flat motor very flat motor all electronics is integrated So the idea is uh, to hide the center part of the ceiling fan completely, right? The motor part. It should be very well integrated, and uh, it was not possible by the way in traditional technology. Yeah. So these are the front-looking uh, uh, technologies which we are working on. Not only that, uh, it is going to help us in other products. This is Atomberg current form factor. So you can imagine we will make it super flat, only forty percent form factor in coming time with the new motor, uh, with generation six. a complete battery operated mixi because the consumption is not much so you can ideally use a battery battery in it for 30 minute operation so it will become make it portable otherwise you will keep hunting for a power socket in your kitchens whenever you have to use the mixi so in future uh, we have today 
some of the products ready till mixer grinder we are now working on uh, air coolers hair dryers in our pipeline we also wish to enter into washing machines or air conditioners or vacuum cleaners at right point in time so we are preparing ourselves we are increasing our team our muscle to to ensure that we are ready for that today in current scenario we have been manufacturing roughly 1 and 1/2 lakh unit a month right and uh, and which means annually we are crossing uh, roughly 18 to 20 lakh units depending on the growth rate a uh, month on month and uh, the revenue we are generating at this point in time monthly is around 30 crore that is the monthly revenue and with this uh, monthly revenue this financial year we are trying to we are we are sure to uh, close the a revenue of 350 crore this year and it is only from ceiling fans next year uh, once uh, mixture grinders is launched and uh, air conditioner is ready we are hoping that we will be able to double the revenue so this is how we have been growing year on year almost every year we were able to drive we are able to double the revenues this is april 21 number so we estimated 300 but we are doing more than 300 as i said 350 is something we will end up next year also we are instead of 600 we will definitely cross 750 so whatever story we make in a business model see this is really important that whatever we predict we are able to meet the numbers this is really important to ensure that uh, the confidence level in your investors and in your partners your vendors within your team consider all scenarios good case bad case so this is uh, something we have been demonstrating that whatever we pitch we are able to deliver so that is really important and uh, on if you check us on reviews online you'll find uh, atomberg best rated products and among top top 10 you'll find uh, four to five atomberg fan always uh, in, in in the priority list so online is one channel to us in offline we are uh, available on almost 7000 outlets now the 7000 is actually 10000 outlet uh, across um, india and uh, uh, yeah and the profitability is something we have hit now uh, it took us almost 2 to 3 years to ensure uh, the profitability because hardware is a little tough uh, business because you have to also ensure efficiency in your manufacturing so and the at a volume only you are able to realize the profit pro- good profits uh if you are also doing the manufacturing so thank you thank you all uh, for giving me opportunity yeah, to yeah. share my experience yeah thank you for coming in and you know uh, we are you know, very very proud and also you know uh, very happy that you could you know come and talk to us thank you so much manoj mm-hmm.